This is Amrita, the Golden Temple and the Wagga Bora in one day, currently 7 a.m. in the morning. I could not be more excited. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome. I am Sandy and I am not religious. In fact, growing up I even thought that believing in a higher power was kinda scary. But then I went to India. Let me take you on a journey of spiritualism, humility and Sikhism, or the Sikh belief system. This is German Girl in Punjab, part 2. How are you feeling? Very excited. How are you feeling? Oh, damn good. <laughs> That's a better Ooh, response. Love it. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> the drive from our hotel took about 2 hours and 30 minutes. We stopped for a quick paranta on the way, one of the best foods to get in India if you ask me, and eventually arrived in Amritsar. Amritsar is a city home to around 1.5 million people, but most importantly, the home of the Golden Temple. <laughs> Town hall. Gaddi chali jaoogi ta. Gaddi chali jaoogi. Ha. Hello. Darbar sahab jaane ke liye. We like also in the middle of a roundabout, right? Yeah, yeah. So what do I do like this? And then I put it like like this. There she goes. Okay, ready. And for good measure, put it down, style it up. Make sure you're looking swagged. <laughs> okay. Covering your head is a sign of respect in the Sikh belief system. And the most common piece you guys would probably recognize is the turban. Sikh men and women can choose to wear a turban and where there are many deeper meanings and different styles of turbans, the most important thing to remember is that Sikhs wear it like a crown. Essentially it says, I am proud to be Sikh. We are now walking up to the temple. I can already see a little bit. And whilst we were walking up in the middle of all of this, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an overview what the temple actually is I'm sure a lot of you do know but for those of you who don't know the Golden Temple is the most important the holiest temple in the Sikh religion and it stands for sacred pool sacred pond or Gertrude was always saying sacred water it is believed this is not confirmed but that it actually has a higher footfall now than the Vatican which is amazing and um, from what I know about the Sikh religion so far is that it is one of the most open religions in the world so whether you are Christian or or Hindu or whether you are nothing at all like me you're very very welcome to go inside to wash yourself with the holy water to have some food and we're gonna experience all of that right now I'm gonna wash my feet in there basically you just walk through and then you go inside the temple Okay guys, so what just happened, everything happened really, really quickly, but I'll try and give you a little bit of an overview. So basically we decided to queue to go inside the temple, which is over there. You obviously can't film over there, but um, I'll just tell you a little bit what happened. So basically we waited for about 45 minutes and I was kind of nervous because I was like, okay, so what's going to happen? What do I have to do? But it was all pretty straightforward. So Gertrude, somewhere behind me there, showed me what to do. Essentially you queue up, you go inside to see the book and then there's a guy singing. Hello. 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 Okay, so as you have seen, filming inside is not really allowed. So I'm back outside now, but I tried to get some B roll for you guys. So let me think where I was. I think I was saying that Gerge was there to help me, which he did, which was awesome. So essentially, you just bow down and you listen and you see the book and you kind of move around the temple itself for a little bit. It's very, very peaceful when you go inside and everybody is, you know, very, very dedicated, which for me, you know, is, is always something interesting to see because obviously, as you guys know normally I am not 
religious uh, in any way so you know it's kind of interesting to see how you feel and how moved you feel for me I kind of felt overwhelmed but you know moved and spiritual at the same time which was really cool then afterwards we walked back out and we walked around a little bit to kind of listen to the singer whose music is transported throughout the whole area of the temple Gerd took a bath, well he didn't actually take a bath but he kind of dipped his feet in and washed himself a little bit and then so did I. Uh, what I wanted to let you guys know if you come here and if you want to take a dip fully as a lady there is a ladies room as well where you can get changed uh, and sort of you know take a full body dip away from everybody's eyes. Gerd just told me off because the guy who was singing inside the temple was a singer yes but he was also a priest right? Yeah so you call in Sikhism it's called a Gyanni um, which is essentially a priest Yes, exactly. Uh, who sings as well. So yeah beautiful voice I can actually we can still hear him now yeah, just walking nice. away and how do you feel amazing yeah? I mean uh, it's a very very spiritual place and yeah. gives you goosebumps really yeah it really does um, and okay I think we're now gonna have some what's it called the food uh, it's culture, so, culture. Uh, and then we're gonna get some Amritsari fish which is really renowned so what is culture culture I believe I might be wrong here um, I think it's some chickpea kind of curry Okay, well, uh, let's. I'm sorry, version. Let's go. Let's have a look. Well, we're proper entering the busy streets again now. Let me turn the camera around. This is crazy. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I'll try one of the spicy ones as well. Yes. And, they and were worried green... about me to see how much spice I can eat. Yeah, and a green chili with it. And a whole green chili apparently. <laughs> if I try, I'll try to pronounce it correctly. So I think the place we just come to is called Kulvan. Yep. Yes. And it's very famous for culture. Culture. <laughs> culture. <laughs> The texture is so soft and fluffy. It's like really, really fluffy on the inside. Slightly spicy, but then because the outside is oven baked, it's super crunchy. And always never forget a huge lump of butter in the middle as well. <laughs> So this is jalebi, a uh, very, very, very famous Indian dessert. Very delicious, very sugary, <laughs> potentially will give you diabetes in one bite. Yes. Mm. Okay. Bye, oh my god, it's so oily. <laughs> the hot syrup is running down my hands, but it is really it delicious. Like it. Tastes like deep fried pancakes with a ton and ton of syrup. Potentially quite bad for you, but... <laughs> very bad. <laughs> Anything in really moderation. delicious. Exactly, anything in moderation. Next, we were about to experience one of the most exhilarating events of our lives. I feel like I'm going to watch like an amazing sporting event, <laughs> but you just come up through the tunnel. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. In part three, we are going to experience the Wagga border ceremony at the border between India and Pakistan. And also we're going to explore Anandpur Saab, which has one of the largest yet humble kitchens in India. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon on my next adventure.